Twin Motion 2023 is live and today we're going to explore it. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today it's all about exploring the latest update from Twin Motion 2023. And the biggest, by far, the biggest difference right now is the home panel, okay? So straight away, once you install your update, the first screen you've got is this one. You can open a scene or add a new scene and you have these templates. So depending on the project you're uh, doing, depending on the kind of modeling you're doing, okay, landscape architect, garden designers, etc. you go for the architecture one, but you can be, you know, doing something uh, a bit different and you have here uh, different uh, kind of templates for product, but we're going to start out with uh, architecture. Actually, I'm going to open one that I already start. But that's an amazing because uh, basically you have some settings already done for you that you can basically use in terms of really creating easy um, images. Okay, so they have a few settings be already done for you. So you can just choose you the angle, create a new image and you're going to do, we're going to see this. So you have a lot of novelties inside this Twin Motion 2023. Another one, it's a new file format. And for what I understood, and the official, uh, the official uh, post uh, from the Twin Motion team is that the new TM file format has a positive impact on file size, scene safe, and load speed and global performance. So we, I just updated the software. I didn't have enough time to explore that, uh, but it seems really, really promising. Okay. Um, so you, I'm going to add in the description of this video, the link for the official description of all what's new inside this update. So they added new materials as well for product design industry, new glass based materials, um, uh, some other um, um, some other um, uh, improvements in terms of workflow as well and you have the uh, disable uh, gizmo automatic camera facing orientation so you have quite a few things that I'm not gonna go into it right now you have a lead wall that's cool for virtual production and things like this um, so I'm trying to get just a little bit more uh, for uh, level of metalness on the materials, uh, pad trace improvement. So transparent pro uh, objects inside the depth of field are now represented in a physical correct way. So they have a lot of improvements, but one that I really want to show in this video right now, because I didn't have time to explore all these ones I've just up uh, updated today, is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so I have this model here that I imported uh, from SketchUp. The planting was basically done in SketchUp. Okay, I have some planting here uh, from, uh, if you remember, you have here in the in the library, you have the Quixel uh, Mega Scan. Remember that you have the 3D uh, plants and you have garden plants and flowering plants. You have these flowers. So I uploaded uh, boxwood now and now they um, they um, move with the wind. I'm pretty sure, once I've seen this, I'm pretty sure that they didn't before. Um, I'm almost positive. Uh, so now they do and they grow with the, with the growth setting inside Twin Motion as well. Being a shrub, they grow in size, not like the actual grow of the, of the shrub like they do in trees. Uh, but this is something really cool. Another thing, and this is the most important one that I really want to share with you, it's the, the, the settings they have here already done for you. If you, for example, like I've done in this project, you've chosen architecture scene and then you import your SketchUp model. What you're going to find here, if you want to create an image and they have all these already um, kind of um, day scenes, they, they have like eight, uh, nine day scenes, 10 night ones, um, and they have different ones, sunrise, okay? So this is really different. And I, I, you know, I was really impressed with this just because what you can do when you're trying to create an image like I've done here, you can actually come here. Okay, maybe I'll go for um, this one, seven day. Okay, I'm going to go into this one. And then, of course, you choose the right angle in your project. And I want like maybe more or less this angle you go and create an image and you have a new image uh, using that settings that's pretty cool is like you have this pre-done settings 
of course i've tried it on i'm going to show you the images in the end of this video i is still you still have to use photoshop if you really want to create um, a nice image uh, from it but it improved a lot i was really happy about it uh, i think it's a big improvement um, and I think it's really helpful to have this type of uh, uh, templates to help you out just creating uh, quick images. So a lot of things going on in Twinmotion. I'm definitely going to explore more. The basic layout and the, uh, it, nothing changed in terms of the layout of the actual software. Okay, so everything is pretty much the same. Um, as you can see here, you have things going on pet race improved etc uh, but i think that since and having this uh, pre-done um, um, uh, templates kind of in your in your project that you can just go and click and do an image i think it's pretty cool okay so you can just go here choose the angle you want and create an image of course after you can come here more and just do a few tweaks uh, if you want okay um, don't forget every time I um, I, I uh, select a path race it gets really dark so you always need to change uh, intensity of the sun etc okay so you know that's something to to look for okay but it's really cool and I think the renderings did improve so I'm just going to show you a quick one and this was after Photoshop okay so you know in Photoshop what I did was just shadows and highlights I did a little bit of sharpening and the levels so that was it that was the three things because I'm not very good at Photoshop uh, but as you can see it's I think it's a pretty cool rendering okay you have quite a lot of darkness in here that it could be improved but I think it's pretty cool so I'm gonna add another two images in a more sunset kind of environment but let me know what you think in the description of this video I'm gonna add the link for the official um, twin motion um, description of everything that they did new in this update See you guys in the next one.